When the last king of the House of Yul fell in battle, the treacherous wizard Saruman claimed lordship over the lands of Rohan and its people. Most of the men had already perished in the numerous battles between the Rohirrim and the Urukai. The women and children were either taken captive or forced to continue work in the fields to feed the armies of the White Wizard. Those that had become too weak continued to feed his armies, albeit in a different manner. Only a handful of us managed to evade the clutches of the White Hand, veterans of the Riddermark or younglings that picked up their father's arms. We tried taking the fight back to Isengarth with small scaled attacks at night aimed at scouting parties. If anything, we were trying to buy time for our allies in Lothorian and Gondor. But then, the most curious thing happened. For it was not a banner of Lothorian nor Gondor that marched into the Eastfold and liberated the city of Tirith Anduin. It was a banner of Dorwinian, those drunkards from the Sea of Rune. A golden clad army of Northmen and Elves took down a fully fledged Urukai battalion by carving a cake. The people were free again, and the few surviving Uruk scattered in the wind. Hope was finally restored. We are the last of the Rohirrim, and we gladly offer our spears, shields and axes in service of the Vintner Court. The elves of Lothlorien had abandoned us. The men of Gondor had forsaken their oath. Now we swear a new oath to Divine Regent. Help us fight back the powers of the Orthanc, reclaim our lands, and we shall swear fealty to the Thorn. Greetings my friends and welcome back for episode 22 of our Darwinian campaign in Third Age Total War, Divide and Conquer. And I hope you all had a fantastic Valentine's Day, whether that was with your girlfriend or boyfriend or with your left or right hand. I hope you all had fun and I think that's the most important thing. Now, uh, with regards to, to my Valentine's present for you, I bring you War with Isengard. I think that is the main kind of focus of this episode. Maybe also... The destruction of Mordor. We are close to getting there. We have Captain Thor on the way towards Thorband, which is the last element of Mordor within Mordor. We're also besieging Minas Morgul. Some people have asked me to give Minas Morgul to Gondor because it is, of course, uh, an ancestral seat of Gondor back when it was Minas Ethel. And I might do that in exchange for an alliance because Gondor doesn't really like me that much that they want a straight up alliance. So perhaps I can, you know, can convince them that way. We also have Mr. Grishnak the Bastion moving up and about. I hope he doesn't go towards Dantalad, and I do hope that Gondor is moving an army to take Galabrin. But it uh, doesn't seem to be that way. If they move towards Dantalad, I might send the Strike Force to try and take Galabrin real quick, kind of snatch it from behind them, um, just to kill off Mordor Beast. I want to get rid of them as fast as possible. Up in the north, we have General Kull. Now, some people have pointed out that in order to get manual battles as reinforcement, we need to decline the request for assistance. Apparently, when you accept it as an auto resolve, but if you decline, I didn't know that, if you decline, then it is a manual battle. So we'll take that to heart, although we might suffer from a bridge battle here, and our lack of archers, as Anarion has pointed out, might become a problem there. But we'll see. We have the dwarves on our side, so no one can really stop us. All right, so I do believe... We need to attack Captain Gorul. As hard of a fight it is, we do need to remember that when we take ancient Rohiric settlements, they are probably for the most part Northman culture, so I can retrain my units there fairly quickly. Culture is usually the thing that slows you down quite a bit, so I don't have to worry too much about that. So I do think I need to eliminate stack upon stack upon stack, simply because they can produce, based on the amount of settlements they have, probably like one stack a turn easily. So if I don't kill one stack a turn, at the very least, then they will just overwhelm me. Now this fight is going to be quite difficult because they don't have an amazing army, but neither do they. They don't have a general either. They do have wargs, which is a little bit annoying. Um, so hopefully we can get rid of the captain real quick. Hopefully we can get rid of the trolls and route the army, but it will not be easy. Then again, I am. So there we go. Let's jump in. Ah, there we go. Snow in real life, snow in game as well. Oh, and apparently my settings are still all mumble jumbled from recording the intro to episode 21. Featuring, of course, the beautiful voice of Marzel. In case you don't know Marzel, he's one of the moderators in the Discord and uh, a very appreciated member of our little community. And I think he has a fantastic voice, so. When I was doing the intro for Kel, I was like, you know what? I want to get Marzel in there to voice Kel. And he did a fantastic job. Alright, let's put our Thorn Guard in Shield Wall, like, um, not in Shield Wall, in Spear Wall, and let's get the Thorn Bladesmen along with them as the central line to also give their, their shields, to lend their shields towards the Halberds for, of course, the um, enemy archers. Not that they have that many, but hey. 
We also have our Athala Rangers. Our Avari Spearmen will take care of the trolls, so they will not fire at will. Now, Daniel also pointed out again, and he's absolutely right in doing so, that Lancer Cavalry is a pretty good cost alternative way of dealing with trolls. We also, of course, have the Lorian Warden sale. Another elven unit in our roster, quite nice. Alright, General, you go there. So we can also use our Thorn Blade or our Thorn Riders and our Rovanian Riders to maybe deal with the trolls. Oh shit, it's trolls of the White Hand as well. They got the armor upgrade. Looking quite it kinda looks like a cyborg in a way. Robocop. Robo troll. And he look, just looks sad. <laughs> Alright, we're probably going to get in range of their ballista before we are in range to fire on them. Unless I do some crazy maneuvering. Hmm, I could go from the right. There's a bit of a height advantage there. You know what I really need? One unit of Ohari Naharim. I could just go harass them a little bit, kind of lure them out, draw them to be aggressive instead of defensive. Sadly, I don't have those. Uh, at least every... Army um, needs at one at least one unit of a fighting harem, I would say. But that should become less of a problem as we continue in the campaign because we have more and more settlements where we can train a Varin and Mori Quendi units, so what the hell are you just bleeping out of existence there? I saw you there, Archers, I know you're there. Yeah, it's mainly gonna be the chores. Everyone else also morale wise, not that scary. We're just gonna try to grab them in a bit of a oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa careful. Take position, take position, run. What are they doing? They're countering my movement. They're gonna try to take the hill before I can. No, 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 we can't have that. Hmm, he's gonna have a height advantage, no matter what I do. Damn it! The power of being the defender, eh? But perhaps we can already get a volley of our thorn crossbows off. Okay, are we just straight up fighting already? We're being that aggressive, I don't want that to happen. Those are just archers. What the hell is he doing? He's being very aggressive with his uh his infantry. Alright, I need to split up my calf. I haven't played in a couple days, so I, I hope I'm not too rusty. But knowing me, probably am. Alright. Mounted in, ready? Move, 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 laddies! Stop. Riders of Ravanian and of the Thorn. Alright, crossbows, give him a volley or two. Three, four, five, six. Just kill them. Just keep the army organized. Men of the Thorn, indeed. You can't miss that, eh? Lousy accuracy or not. When they're that close and all clustered up together. This is a very awkward position. They really wanted to counter maneuver me. But in doing so, they got really close to my front line, which kind of nullifies their ranged advantage, which is always nice. So we can do a lot of damage like this. we have taken down a full 2% of that army. Sure. You know it, buddy. Oh, yeah. Free barracks event unit or not. Not that that distinction matters anymore. Crossbows are always useful. Yeah, we're just kind of having a stare down here. The elves of Lothlorien eager to get revenge upon the Urukai, but this time with a capable commander and a capable army. They're charging, they're charging. Cavalry, get in position. Charge, elves! For the Malone trees! <laughs> For Lady Galadriel! And her simp, Lord Caleb. Oh shit, trolls! I wasn't really prepared for those trolls to get in. Alright, Spears! I'm about to call on you! Oh lordy Jesus! Oh lord! Oh no, pull back! Oh fuck, I screwed up. Episode 22, the one where Izzy starts off with a bunch of. Naughty language. We'll take it from here. Oh, frick walks. I can't see anything with these damn trees as well. It's not helping at all. It is not helping at all. Alright. Oh, frick bean guard. Uh, it also feels a little bit laggy. Yeah, I'm running at like 40 FPS and it uh, kind of bothers me. Yeah, it's running very chuggy. Let's pause for just a moment. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening. Ah, I'm not in the zone right now. Wait, you're wavering? Why are you wavering? Oh god, I'm so used to using Woody Quindy that I just I can't deal with the shitty morale. Oh my god, I'm... 
losing this battle hard because of my cavalry. I'm not doing well. Come on, they're up against the wall. Why are you routing? Where are you going? I need you. Oh my lord. Oh, my crossbows are all... Oh, what am, what am I doing, man? I've just been caught off guard so hard and I, and I just... Uh, I end up screwing up whenever I get caught off guard. Like, I just make... I make one mistake and it, like, multiplies into, like, one mistake after the other. I, I really struggle with that. Not just in game, but in real life as well. When I'm off my balance, I end up making mistake after mistake after mistake. It's really bad. Come on, you elves, throw your spears, you fools. You can still win this. Oh my god, I'm going to lose this battle. And I was supposed to actually take down two armies with this army. Two Urukai forces. That's just not happening. Okay, so it's Ravanian riders that routed. Okay, that probably explains it. Because they probably have significantly worse morale than the Thorn riders. Okay, the trolls are pretty much down. Good. You guys pull back. I need to do so much more with the cav. I've not been microing my cav well at all. But I careful for those pikes. Careful for those damn wargs. They love to ruin my day. That's a good charge. That's a good charge. Suck my thorn, Reavers! That wasn't that good at all. He's positioned this pike very smart there. Alright. The elves of Lothlorien are not doing good. Okay, they're broken. Good, good, good. Ooh wee, what a what a fail. Izzy screwing up, man. I'm far from perfect. I mean, in DAC. Besides that, I'm pretty close to perfect. But yeah, I... Oh, there goes the ballista. I wasn't even fighting before. I definitely screwed up that. But now we should be able to envelop them quite easily. But yeah, I should have pulled back my crossbows way sooner. I should have moved my cav a lot better. All in all, I'm surprised my casualties overall are that low. I guess the armor really comes into play there. Keeping my morons alive a little bit longer than their morons. Such is the way. Give him a charge. That might be the captain. Is it the captain? It is not the captain. Charge! Just because it's not the captain doesn't mean you need to charge so slow. Ah, good. That was the general right there, I think. Nice. That should disrupt their morale overall. That's a nice ring to it. Morale overall should be low now. Reavers. I'll reave this motherfucker. Alright. Alright, alright. We got this now. Okay, overall. Uh, 35%. I hope we heal a lot. Because we need it. Yeah, I... I definitely dropped the ball there. Dropped the thorn. But we're pulling back. I'm not sure if my army that is still standing at the end of this battle, because we've only killed 49%, mind you. Most of the enemy that are not here anymore, because the battlefield is clearing up, are just routing. We still need to run down a lot of them. So I'm mostly also hoping that we can also get some mercenaries. They might also, like, route and come back. It's also a problem. But yeah, I definitely need my cavalry to run down a lot of the enemy. Um, big cluster there, for example. Crossbows always have high morale for whatever reason. So my thorn units are routing. Oh, bother. Yeah, they're all routing, for example. We need to run them down. They are running relatively early on, considering they still have like close to half of their army. But I'll take it. Don't mind me. Alright, Kev. I really need you to take prisoners. Badly, because the border's already there. Oh, come on. Imagine if we win this battle, but like barely, and then not even take 85% down. 63%. Oh, my voice even cracked at it. So sad is how I'm feeling right now. My voice has been giving me trouble all day, though, I must be honest. Uh, but I'll, I'll drink a cup of tea after the uh, recording. Oh, Ballista. How I hate thee. How I hate thee. Well, I just kind of hope that our general is a good healer. I'm not sure if he is. 
All right, there we go. So now we can just mop up in peace. Let's make sure you guys don't fight. Um, yeah, mopping down to get 85% is going to be difficult. Uh, we're at 74. Okay, it's not terrible. Big cluster over here. Please get them. Nope, okay, get the others. I think we can reach it. 78%. Ooh. I'm not so sure now. Is that a big... Ooh, there's a big cluster here. A very big cluster. That should be enough. We mop all those guys up. That should be the last 5%. What else we got over here? Nothing. Get them! Oh shit, they're also close to the border. Ugh! If we don't get 85, I will cry. I will cry on video. Yes, yes, push them away from the water. Oh, they're at 93, that's not accurate. It's counting some units that probably withdrew. Still, that should be over 85%. Let's see. It's gonna be close, but okay. We lost 30, we lost one third of an army. Ooh, that is rough, rough, rough. Very rough. Hmm. It wasn't a good fight. I'm not gonna pretend that it was. We took down the army, which is of course the, the purpose of this battle, so we succeeded in that regard, but we lost way many more troops than I would have liked. Definitely kind of highlighting the weakness of our regular units and the, the reason that we really need Mori Quendi and Avarin troops. Anyway, at least the army is gone, so we have that to be happy for. Oh right, that's a lot of cash. Let's execute those guys. Get out of here. Ah, uh, they fled to Lim. Maybe I should have just taken Lim here instead. Oh, whatever. That guy will probably attack me. Uh, we'll we'll ward them off. <laughs> it's just will we have even time to move towards Rockburg? I could try to get in there so we can open the gate because this guy doesn't have a ballista, so we can't do sieges in the same turn. But if we have a spy, they have a chance of opening the gate, and I get to watch these fun cutscenes, which I always appreciate. It would be cool if those cutscenes could also be like in Lord of the Rings fashion, like. Some random elf trying to dress up as an orc somehow. I'd pay to watch that. Hello, I'm just an orc. Wrapped in a blanket. I'm a mummy orc. Don't poke me. Don't. Oh, that was close. See you later, jump. <laughs> Stupid Urukai. They can breed strength, but they can't breed bronze, eh? I'm uh, sorry, brains, not bronze. <laughs> Damn it, I ruined the joke. Uh, I'm terrible. Alright, anyway, enough of that. So there's a 56% chance, which is a little bit more than half, to open the gates if we attack. To do a turn, a one turn siege, basically. Oh, but this guy will probably cock block me, quite literally. Well, anyway, we still have Tirith and Ween, uh, Which we can soon get some troops. We do have reinforcements coming in. We also have the Battle of Austin Gale. So Dol Guldur should be done soon. Hopefully Lord Bjorn, who is surprisingly still alive, can take care of uh, Erin Runen. Alright, but I think we're at the end of our turn anyway, so I'm going to press end turn. And we will see what happens. We might cry over here in the Limlight Fields. Don't do me dirty, Isengard. Don't do me dirty. But my economic situation is a little bit meh. I was expecting to be rolling in cash quite a bit more than we are right now at this point in the campaign. So I'm not sure where I'm losing my money. I think maybe I'll have to move my capital a little bit more. We'll see, we'll see. Right now the capital is in modern Athel giving us only slightly more income. So perhaps I should put it even more in the center of my realm. We will see, we will see. I'm not even sure how much cash we'll have. Oh, and we are being attacked at Thorn March. Um, let's see here. Not the craziest army. Lots of siege equipment though. It does have a ballista and a catapult. So cheesiness aside, he will have a reasonably good shot at taking down my wall or my gate. And I kind of screwed up because I think I have a militia building now. But I can't get any militia or any defenders because my army is full. Which is a shame. I should have got all of like the vineyard levy should have gotten those. But hey. Whatever. Let us defend Thorn March for the umptieth time. Let's go. All right, here we are again. Although, due to my own stupidity, we don't have Westrun defenders. All right, so let's see here. We do have more archers than last time. Let's group them up first, so I have a better idea of what we have. That's a lot of archers. All right, 
Shadows, you shall go here. Mm. Let's see. He's got his ladders on the right side. Mm. So I want to put the Thought Angels to counter the ladders. They're not bad in melee either. And they can have a nice shot at killing them. First with the, the siege towers. Not very likely. And then the crossbows. I'll put those on the left side. There we go. Uh, catapult, as always, I'd like to have you as close to the front line as possible. Oh, there we go. Thorn patrollers, you stay inside, as always. I'm going to leave the Nine of Arde here as well. And Avalyn, you will move out. Okay, good. Hmm, let's see. Well, normally, kind of depends on how they use the siege command, but normally they shouldn't get through the gate because I can disrupt their, their ram quite easily. I will, however, put troops ready to go. Uh, we'll move those once the battle starts. Brick. Let's go! Uh, although I'm forgetting about some infantry, I'm afraid. Oh, yes. You guys, come over. Dorbanian Armsman, you're quite useful. I want you on the front line to make sure they don't push through. Armsman on the right side there, if the game wants to do it. Just not always the case. And then the ram. I want the ram as close as possible to the front line. A lot of people have helped me out in that regard, giving me tips on how to use the catapult in those kind of close quarter situations. You want to get them as close to your own infantry as possible. Where the fuck are you going? Oh my god, Privateer Axman, please. We don't have time for some foolery. Their catapults are already getting in range. And mine aren't. <laughs> Alright, um... Make sure to close that gate, eh? Stupid Privateer Axman. Are all my units in, in position? I feel like I'm forgetting about someone. Yeah, there's a unit there. Ah, there we go. The winning house. Get moving. Alright, the gate's closed. Give him a charge. Why not? Get in there. Screw you, Ballista Crew. Although I'm more scared of the catapults, to be honest. Wunderbar. They might just rout. Get rid of them. And they're, oh, they're killing the, the Ballista Crew with melee and then shooting the catapults. And they just kind of give up hope and they're like, alright, let's get the siege equipment in there. So I'm kind of counting on the fact that we can take down the siege towers with our ballista towers. Such is the plan. And then our ladders, with their ladders, we can disrupt... Well, we can kill them on the walls if we want, or we can try to disrupt them with the cab already. To make sure they don't actually reach the damn walls. We'll see. For now, pull back. Avalon. Retreat a little bit because they got reinforcements in mind. Yeah, the Urukai Raiders, they're an easy target. Full frontal charge with arrows and everything. They're going to drop their ladders and they're going to quickly rethink their life. Don't die, Avalyn. <laughs> You're literally the only thing that's stopping Isengard from just steamrolling my ass. Quite literally, man. Alright. Careful for the catapult. My archer should be getting in range soon. Make sure no one's skirmishing or anything like that. Don't like that. Be alert, rangers. Sometimes I like to say Middle Earth Rangers. Which I'm not sure is like a Power Ranger. The Middle Earth Rangers. Alright. The Ram's inbound. Don't really care too much about the Ram. I do feel confident that we can take him down in melee. Especially with the help of the Catapult. Ladders are more concerning... Siege Towers, I'm not really hitting them hard. I need to buy some time. Although, I don't want to I don't want to bug them out again. It's so unfortunate, because it is a good strategy to delay them, but delaying them in this game translates to bugging the AI out completely so they don't do anything anymore, which I don't want to do because it's boring. But at the same time, I need to play smart, you know? I need to use what's available to me, so... It is a, a hard balance to get sometimes. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna attack that one. Kind of have to. Oh, hello, catapult, naughty, naughty boy. Give them a quick charge, so my ballista towers can focus on this one. They have a good chance of taking it down. Otherwise, if they need to focus on two, they're gonna make it to the wall. I need to pull back some infantry, which is not what I really want. Maybe their own catapult can hit the siege towers as well. I see that as a possibility. <laughs> Come on, Avalon, move. Alright, crossbows, what are you firing at? You got a clean target there. Men of the Thorn. Alright, that's being prioritized. Move, move, move. Ram's not taking damage. Be watchful. 
Alright, he's unleashing his wargs. I could try and counter charge him, but wargs are super effective against Cav, so... Yeah, he's moving his catapult alongside my Varin Harim. He really wants to kill Avalon. And all it takes is one lucky or unlucky shot, depending on your perspective. For us, definitely unlucky. For them, definitely lucky. So let's try to not have that happen, okay? Let's give him a charge before he can load up again. Please. Be quick about it. There we go. No, don't load it. That is illegal. How strong is it? 82%. Should be able to take it down. If they keep fighting, which is sometimes problematic. Alright, what does this position mean? This is some lousy positioning. Alright, my catapult isn't a good angle to give fire. Let's put these guys in shield walls so they have super mass. And they can't just get rid of my catapults by pushing through. Want to avoid that cheesiness. These other engines can also fight in that angle if you want them to. Pretty good. Hello, archers. I'll give you a full frontal charge. Although, wait a second, that catapult's still aiming at me, isn't it? Yeah. 87%. Come on! Take down the siege tower. I could disrupt them from the gate, but like I said, don't want to cheese every battle, eh? Keep it a bit exciting. Whoa! What the hell was that shot? How do you fire from there? That? You're aiming that. That is defying physics right there. There we go, with all of them on top of it as well. Wunderbar! Only a couple made it up and they're probably, yeah, immediately broken. Alright. Disable that catapult, get the ballista as well. Are they gone for good now? Alright. Catapult! Go nuts! And seeing as you're so close to my own line, you shouldn't hit friendlies at all. But, uh, yeah, watch me be wrong about that. Alright, Avalon, run away from the wargs. Alright, let's see what we can do, eh? They're not a dwarven catapult, but hey. Um, okay. As long as it's not friendly fire, I'll take it. You fucking baboon. You are a fucking baboon. Oh my god. How? No, just... No. How do you screw up that bad? Like, I sometimes have a lousy day at work, but I, I don't just friendly fire half my colleagues, you know? It hasn't ever reached that point, no. I can safely say that. Oh, come on, you can do some good follies here. Come on! Nice. Much nicer. Ah, oh, yes. There was like a little power vacuum there as well. Just the souls of the Urukai being utterly crushed. Alright, the shield walls keeping them at bay. Our catapult should have a field day here. The Rangers as well, having a good fighting angle there. Come on, just, just like two or three volleys and we can mop up this entire army and go home for tea and crumpets. Nice! Another one! Nice! I wonder how that happened. Another one! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. And if they run... Avalon's already ready to take him down, so they will run pretty soon. That's over half of their army already gone. Keep that horn going! Horatio horn blower. Keep it going! Another volley! I, can't, I can never get enough of that. A little bit of friendly fire there, but okay. I'll allow it. You got like one healthy unit out of Orkman's Spear Guard. They're still eager. Everyone else is like done with war and they're still like, hey, let's go get him. Naive, young and naive. They're not eager, just naive. Alright, yeah, let's mop them up. All of them are running, so. Well, not all of them, but most of them are definitely running. We can get 85% quite easily. Oh, wait, that Spear Guard unit's fighting. They could have killed Avalon. I hate it when you're like a. A group of unit that's routing, and then there's like one unit in there ready to kill. It's almost like an ambush. They absolutely destroy you. Because then like spears or something. Ugh. Again, these guys panicking just a moment before. Now super ready to go. Annoying. Yeah. 
We should be able to kill them. Even if they get back to our lines, they'll probably route right away because of the numerical disadvantage they're at. But yeah, they just keep on coming back. Ugh. Annoys me a little bit when that happens. Uh, whatever. Not gonna make a big difference. Just a couple extra lives that I wouldn't have lost otherwise, but hey. Just give them a charge and they'll change their mind. Crush them on the foot. Come on. Route. Break. Who's still standing? The damn spear guard? No, just some raiders. Really. Just some raiders. Let's end it there before I lose uh, another unit. Oh, we only lost 90. Wow. 6% feels like more than 90. So I'll happily take that. Alright, Thormod stands yet again. Wow, we 656 the catapult. That's more than Avalon. My god. Fantastic. Okay, let's execute them again. Get out of here. Ah, finally they're attacking with Thunderweed. That could be a pretty quick and cost-effective way to mop up to Doomstacks. And then we have another stack here. If we can win this battle, we'd be looking at like four stacks done in like two turns, which is more than they can produce, 100%. This time they have a lot more troops than we do, but they are worse. I don't see any wargs whatsoever, so we have a significant cavalry advantage. And we are defending, so if I find a good hill, I can use that. And hopefully that means that the road towards Rockburg is wide open. And I can take Rockburg and turn it into a city or whatever it is right away. It's a bit of a gamble though. This army is still here as well, Gazlook. I don't think he can make it all the way to Rockburg. Although these are upgraded roads. And then of course we also need to be lucky that the, the spy can open the gate. So all in all, <laughs> we're uh, kind of basing a lot on luck. But if we get through all these th these three stacks, I feel like we can push quite hard. I feel like Isengard is running out of steam eventually. Alright, anyway, this is going to be a big fight, an important fight. Let us hope that we can survive the oncoming storm. Alright, oh, this is the big one. We do have a nice hill. That is at least a bit of a blessing. Let's get our crossbows in position. They're going to be quite important to hopefully whittle down their lines. I'm just going to take this hill. What I'm going to do is immediately put my infantry in the front. So my crossbow is going to just fire it over them. Although actually, I feel like the hill isn't that steep to do that. Let's see, can they... If I was a crossbow, could I fire it over that? I mean, I could, but my troops are a bit slow compared to the average person, so I'm not sure. I got some of Adi's spears, though. They lost a lot in the previous fight. They can still serve quite well. Oh, and my cavalry has also been reduced to atoms. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Alright. Here they come. Let's make sure no one's in skirmish mode. Good. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, then. You want some? You want some, Isengard? I can give you some. Let's make sure that our crossbows prioritize their heavily armored foes. Nice. The thing is, we can't win that ranged battle if they stay at range. I'll have to use my cavalry. Because, um... My crossbows aren't in range at the moment. And my infantry is, so they're fighting on my infantry, which is quite annoying. And I don't think my... I thought that rangers alone are enough to win. But the cav will change their mind, just give them one quick charge and they'll probably be more inclined to be aggressive. One would wager. One would hope. Perhaps a better way of saying it. Alright, come on. Alright, stop fighting for a moment, so we don't hit our own cav. Man, the Urukai archers are always so tanky, they, they soak up cav charges every single time. There we go. We have now angered them. The primitive beasts, they smell blood in the water, or in the snow, I should say. They're now coming full force. Alright, okay, infantry, trolls. They have a cave troll. They have multiple cave trolls. Maybe I should put my guys in shield wall, though I don't think that really matters against the friggin' troll. Alright, Cav, get in position. 
Get in position. There we go. Trolls! Crossbows all prioritize the trolls for a moment. Avadi Spears, get over there, we need your javelins. If I can just get all my crossbows to fire one big volley at those trolls, that should be quite devastating, I would say. There we go, they're being hit. They're taking some, some hits, but definitely not enough. And they just waltz through my lines there, oh my lord. Oh, they have a ballista? Really? I missed that. Hmm. Being quite aggressive against my cavalry, unfortunately. Alright, Spears! Those trolls are kicking my butt. Do something about it. <laughs> Would ya? Thank ya. And my cav, I need to keep them mobile. But they're kind of zoned out a little bit. Alright, the trolls have taken one casualty at least. There comes the... Is that the Urukai Infantry? No. It's not the Urukai Infantry. Where's the Urukai Infantry anyway? There's Urukai Pikemen. It's also a preferred target of mine. Good charge by the Cav. Keep moving. Those Reavers don't have the best morale. You guys can take down the Ballista. Actually, I just need one guy to take down the Ballista. Let that be the Ravenian Riders. Keep moving. I'm not sure where those raiders are going. They're just waltzing off there. Trolls are taking casualties. Good, good, good. Bueno. Oh, freak, no. Paladins, as much as I don't like to send you into the fight, because you're not that good of a fighter, I do need to. Good charge on the reavers. Can we get a route going? Alas, we cannot. Hooray, right, boys. Careful for the spikes. Although my crossbows are destroying them quite nicely. The trolls are also being whittled away quite nicely. We're looking at 16% for 24. I uh, will take that. The Ravinian Riders should be doing a good job. Yes, they are. Rashmosh. Come on, Thorn Riders. That's a beautiful charge right in their side. Although it is the side with the shield. Throw another unit up there. By order of the thorn. Alright, get out. Ah, come on, I just need one route. One unit's route, and that might give a, a chain reaction. Can I kind of sneak past the pikes, please? Because then I can do a big charge there. Against the orc hunters, they will route. They are a weak-willed unit. They are very weak-willed. Oh, the Urukai infantry broke. Out of all the units, that was the one I least expected to route. Well, that and the trolls, of course. There we go. Big boy route. Wunderbar. This is where we grab them by the ball sacks and never let go. Alright. Surprised that side hasn't collapsed yet. Morale still works in a mysterious fashion sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work like you think it will work. But I'm not complaining in this case. Didn't expect this right side, well, my right side, I guess, um, to collapse before the left one. But I'll take it, I'll take it. It is all good for me. Alright, boyos. Get in there! Urukai Raiders, I'll read you. Come on. There we go, finally they broke. They took a couple calf charges. So it does seem that a plethora of calf is still the best way to deal with Urukai. Who would have thought? The one way to deal with anything is indeed the best way to deal with everything. Oh, frick, Urukai infantry came back. I don't expect them to ride that easily again. I think we got very lucky that first time. Alright, let's see here, High Paladins. I feel a little bit risky sending in my, my infantry still, or my, my general still, but... Well, he's in now, so I don't really have a choice. Can't pull him back now. I mean, I could, but I'm not gonna. Alright, uh... Frick, run. Hunt him down. Charge the Urukai infantry, break them. 
Uh, the Winnie and Arzwin do have a decent chance against them, I suppose, out of all my units. Beautiful charge. Will they break? I mean, they haven't been trained against cavalry, that is for sure. Uh, they're wavering. They are running in a very weird fashion, so... I'll take it. Yeah, get those friggin' crossbows out of there. Those pikes out of there as well. 31%. Honestly, not that bad, considering... Just need to get them to fully break now. Come on, let's end this! Otherwise they're going to pull back and come back constantly, which I don't like. Battle of the Thorn, charge! Charge! Nice. That flank is gone. Good. What remains? Crossbows and archers, mostly. The ones that are actually the hardest to break, surprisingly. Back in Medieval 2, and you just... Charge the calf towards archers that would already break right away, but yeah, they all have slightly higher morale, which sometimes makes it a little bit more difficult to get them to to rout because they're more spread out and they're further in the back, so they're less engaged with the rest of the fights. They tend to hold out the longest because of those reasons, but they are pretty weak in melee. So just because they don't rout doesn't mean they're a threat, really. They're not going to change the course of battle. Not without wargs. That's for damn sure. At least my general's getting his sword wet. And who knows what else he'll get wet <laughs> when he rescues those young Rohidim virgins. Oh, yes. Darwinian equal to debauchery, alright. Alright. Can you guys run? Like, just go away. Just be like, we're out of here. Got it. We got 85%, so it's just a matter of rounding it off now. Break! Just break! There we go, it wasn't so hard. Oh, what's left? More of them there! Damn it. That's what I mean, they're all like spread out and just... Ugh. Just die. Be done with it. Get in there. Don't need to kill them all, just need to break them. Oh, finally. Yep, I'll take that. So we healed about 6%. That's not bad. 528 casualties, but we killed over 2,000. That's not bad considering the army we have. So I can live with that. I can live with that. Alright, let us execute those guys. Get out of here. Here we go. The next party is already ready. I see two full banners moving by way already. Oh my lord, Isengard. You just don't know when to quit, huh? Isengard's like that joke that just you just keep on pushing it and it's no longer funny. So you're just like, please quit. And why is Lothlorien not doing anything? Fight you fools! I'll take you, because I need you. I also need to make sure that I can get my uh, defender units, so I'll just merge everyone. Fuck it. I need to make sure that I get defender units. Because right, I got the upgraded defenders, right? Don't I? Yeah. No, it's a militia. Never mind. It's the, the regular one. All right, so they're going to attack to the Thanduin, which doesn't have ballista towers, unfortunately. But we do have a large army there. Ah, let's see. Is Nobe a knight fighter? He is. Hmm. I could just, I could just take the fight to them, one by one. They don't have that impressive an army. Take them down one by one. Clear up some room to push towards Rockburg. Got a new army coming in. Hmm. It's rough. Rough, rough, rough. First and foremost, you move to there because they're producing more and more units already. Grishnak's moving back. Minas Morgul will fall in 10 turns. I have time. I just don't want to face all the defenders. Edward and you go to Kirdongul. Our economy is looking a lot better now. I'm quite happy with that. Alright. First and foremost, let's see. Kirdongul. We need to make sure the people like us there. So let's get a hero shrine. To get that culture. Oibamari. That is now a stronghold with a ga no with culture. I thought we maybe got a garrison building there, but it's culture. Let's get the Mason's Guild House. Athel here is not getting any younger. Durthang. Don't really need anything there. I'll just wait a little bit. The gate. 
Mm, again, don't really need anything there. I'm a Lank, that's what I'm training my new forces. So I definitely want to prioritize that. They will be very helpful against Isengard as well. So let's get an, an Apothecary to make retraining cheaper. Dornarak, where is that? That's over here. We definitely want to train troops here as well. For that, we need culture. Oh, no, wait, actually, we need... What do we need? The stronghold. We have the royal hall. Why can't I get a higher tier? Oh, wait, I need the thorn barracks. Good, good, good. Dolingvar. Let's get the thorn armory. Let's get some good units. Actually, no. Let's retrain the ones we have. It's more important. Okay. Bursauthis. Don't really need anything there. Rubar. Don't really need anything there. I'll get the Lord's Hall for now. Vandamis Vineyard. I can upgrade that to a stronghold. Wonderful. Uh, you know what? I'm going to skip those settlements for now. I need to make money. So more than I thought, for example, is more important. And then I'll focus the rest of my cash on troops, which we need badly. And I'm still mostly getting in my core regions here. Santa Anui. What am I getting there? Armsman. These guys. I need more! I need so much more. Yeah, it's not cutting it. I can get them good armor, but I'm just not getting those full Avarin stacks that I so desperately want. Full Mori Quendi armies are just not a thing yet. Oh, right. Mistrand, however, that's what I can get some good units right now. Um, Let's train some troops. Let's already move out some forces. Uh, you stay behind. You guys all move. Hmm. Khan's not really a priority of mine, so let's move them towards Isengard. They will take a fair bit, but hey. Hello, but So be it. Okay. Hm. I could position myself on the bridge, so if they fight, it's a bridge battle. Not saying we have a big advantage in a bridge battle, but hey. At least we can get someone to hit him. Stand on the bridge. I think I need to be aggressive with Norway, just so his army doesn't also take uh, damage from the siege, from the yeah, from the starving out. So if I do a night battle, it's just Captain Zogrum, who doesn't have the most impressive army whatsoever. So I think it's worth the risk. He's also a good healer. So I think I can win that with not that many casualties. And then I can push from, from Tirithanduin towards, say, over here, and then push towards another. He's kind of running out of steam, and I need to capitalize on that. Even though I'm running out of steam as well, but we have reinforcements inbound, so we should be okay. Alright, anyway, let's take care of Captain Zogrum first. Alright, um, good thing they're not pulling back towards that hill, that would be problematic. They are pulling back more towards somewhat flat land. Uh, I'm just going to leave my troops as is. Although those ballista are annoying, but I'll move out in the harem to deal with them. Oh wait, my shadows are, are my thought range in range. Then again, it wouldn't really have mattered much. So those guys will already move out to hopefully disable... Not you. You two will already move out to hopefully disable that ballista. Um, then I'll pull back, or pull out, or push out, what I'm trying to say. Everyone else. No fine region could find us wanting. So Naharim, you need to move out. Stat. Alright, and everyone move out. Ballista, you can actually join in, why not? Still swords as well. But mostly Naharim. Where are my Naharim? No, seriously, where the frick are my Naharim? Are they all the way in the back? Ah, oh, curses. And again, that kind of helps us out, because those guys are moving fast, those guys are moving slow, so the longer we wait, the more distance there is between the Ballista crews and the reinforcements. Do they have any walks? Yes. Two units. Okay. It's a good thing Isengard doesn't get, like, a better unit of wargs. That could be problematic. Like, if they had, like, armored wargs or something like that. It would be cool. And I guess it could make sense lore-wise, but... It would make Isengard even more of a pain in the ass. That's the one thing we can kind of capitalize on. The fact that they're cavalry, which they do have, and it's not that bad. But we do out... Yeah, how do you say that? Out-quality them. That's terrible English, but whatever. We have better cav than them. It's the only thing where we can really make the distance. Alright. Good job, Rohirrim. That will no doubt draw their attention. So let's make sure everyone's getting in position right now. We might be able to even turn it into a defense. 
All right, just like that. We have a cock blocked the siege Are they going to take it? Or are they just going to leave it behind? I don't think they really know what they want. Which is always good. All right. Um, let's organize these things a little bit better. Uh, gosh. It's a terrible kind of formation. You guys are in range of something. Are they using their ballista? No. They're bringing forth their walks, however. They also have archers. But not that many, it seems. Pikes. Crossbows. Need to be careful of those guys. Definitely need to be careful of the crossbows. Right, but if we can like, kind of lure them to come to us with our ballista, then that would be wonderbar. Those aren't really the helmets I mean. Because I was talking about the kettle helmets. Those are not the kettle helmets I mean. Uh, maybe I'll include a picture or something. Or maybe not. I'm probably too forgetful to do so. That's just the way I roll, man. <laughs> forgetful Izzy. Alright, Thorn Riders, move wide. Everyone's out there. Good, good, good. We're all ready to go. Make sure no one's running away. Good. Yeah, how do you like them crossbows, eh? I got a big crossbow with your name on. It's called a ballista, you fool. Using just a few of Artie. It's worth it to kill those walks, though. They will heal. Right, they're moving back now. I'm taking it slow but steady, just because I want to minimize my casualties by taking down those crossbows and those ballista. Okay, they're pushing the ballista now. Maybe we can try to take some down. They are in an awkward position. What is this? Raiders? I don't mind charging Raiders head first. They're not the strongest. He's gonna use that ballista to fire at me. Which makes my voice crack again. Whenever I say something scary in this video, my voice just cracks alongside it. I'm, I'm a method actor at this point. But it's stop fighting. Wonderful charge by the hit him there. Revenge! The revenge of the hit him. Now that alone I can write five intros about. Okay, he's moving in. Uh, let's get those firebolts. Cinematic. Looks cooler. And now he's, he's leaving his ballista behind again, but from a different perspective. Alright, he's getting in range of my archers now. Wonderful. I outrange him with everything I've got. Take down those wargs. Sadly, they can't deploy stakes on the go, but we should be able... Alright, he's moving back. Good. Just like two volleys of my archers and they're dead. How to hit him? Keep moving. Destroy those pikes. Nice. Especially you, Regent Bogard. Crossbowguard, I should call you. Come on, you can't miss that. It's such a clean angle. Why is my Rohirrim fighting? I told him to move back. Oh my god. That's a clear sign of cavalry just not listening. Because I definitely 100% recall forcing them back. You cannot win against wargs. You're not Avarin Aharim, you fools. You might think you are, but you're not. And that's why your lands are gone. And you have lost against Saruman. Because you are a moron. Congratulations. Alright, need to move back. Nice. Send forth the infantry. Pull back the archers. Not all of them, though. A lot of them, though. Now, hit him. Watch and learn. This is how not to lose your lands to an Isengard invasion. I shouldn't be so, so sassy. They, they tried their best. Their best was just kind of pathetic, that's all. Alright, those are pikemen. You don't run into those. There you go. Step one, how to beat Isengard. Don't run into the pikes. If you do that successfully, you've already won. Pretty much. Hmm, those crossbows are a problem. Um, but I want to flank those guys first. Nice charge, we hit him. Now you can charge the crossbows. Step two. 
Make sure their crossbows are preoccupied. Step three, hammer an anvil. Or be patient, actually. That's step three. Step four is hammer an anvil. Alright, uh, Naharim, you guys are taking a bit of a beating. You're crushing the wargs, though. I'm surprised it's going so well. There you go. They're gone. Another charge there. We'll get rid of them. It's a very spread out battlefield, but it's a, it's a fun battle. 6% for 50%. I'm not complaining. It's a nice ballista crew you got there, buddy. I think most of my castles also just sort of hit him, so we can get those back relatively easily. Alright, they're running. This crossbow should break soon. There's Urukai infantry. Give him a volley. Alright, charge the pikemen. I know it's scary, but you'll break him. Alright. Oh, those spear guard absolutely shafted me. I thought they were going in melee and then they weren't. Damn it. I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, you son of a bitch. Should have put you guys in shield wall a little bit sooner. There we go. As for told. Light of Elbereth. Light of Elbereth. Come on, get in there. This is where we crush them. Alright, come on. Careful for those spears. Damn spear guard, man. I actually used to fear the bean guard a lot more, but right now the spear guard are definitely more annoying. Alright, that should be a route. That's the end of that, right? That's just some infantry here. No vine region shall find us wanting. You got damn right. 87%. I'll take that. 168 casualties, which is only 8%. I will happily take that, my friends. Oh, yes. And I really just imagine most of them auto hit him. Ah, oh, they actually healed a fair chunk. So who did we lose, who did we lose the most of? Dominion infantry, lots of friendly fire. I imagine because of the Avadi Spearmen throwing their Javis. Still, out of all my units, that's like the least important one. Uh, which one is that actually the Winning Infantry? Oh, it's this one. Okay, it's not that bad. Oh, right. Goodbye. Bye, bye, bye. Alright, on to the next one, which will prove to be easier, actually. Although he has more troops, more individual guys, they're all quite a bit crummy. Muznak. It's going to be an easy fight. Oh, no, don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. It's going to be a rough fight, but we'll be fine. That's what I want. Catapult. I need to make sure they're done. Two walks. And besides that, just regular old infantry with nothing too special. Most of them pre barracks so we should be all right. All right. Let's take him down. Start deployment. Hmm. I don't like this hill, especially with that catapult. So what I will do is actually position my lads a little bit further back and... Oh man, I have like one of each infantry unit. It's kind of funny actually, I didn't even realize that. Um, but what I'll do is again use my Avarin Hardim to kind of lure them out. I don't think they had any archers. Well, they'll probably have like one or two, but really not that many. So let's see, who do you want in the front line? You, 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 and... No, that's it. Oh, I got a double unit of Avarin Warriors. Womp womp. Look at those red capes of like the Moriquendi protectors along with the Tawinian infantry. Just looks so matching. Very fancy. Alright, um Cell Swords, no you go over there. Axemen, Fint the Court Knights, you go there. Spears, you go behind. Although you are a little bit dangerous. And then archers take the front line. Ballista take the fronter line. You guys can deploy stakes, why not? To protect the ballista, I suppose. Uh, what do we got then? Rohirrim, take that side. You take that side. And then our main warriors, the Avarin Harim, Which I don't use nearly enough. Despite me using them all the time. They're just that good. I really think they are the MVP of our Darwinian campaign. 
So let's go chill over there and let us disable that catapult before we do anything else. Have they got archers? Oh, uh, never mind, they got lots of archers. Crossbows. Well, I uh, didn't see anything. I mean, lots of archers. They like three units of archers and then one unit of crossbows. So it's not that bad. Uh, no, you need to be in there as well. I could already move out a little bit. Just worried of the catapults. They can really ruin my day. So what I need to do with my Avari Naharim is get the high ground. If we get the high ground, we rain down upon them. You know, just Obi-Wan Kenobi style. It's, it's nothing special. Makes lots of sense. Okay. Those troops are moving in the back. Looks kind of pretty seeing those troop movements. Oh, frick. Careful. He's probably going to already try fighting his catapult at us, which is a good waste of his ammo. Of course, as you all know, rocks are in limited supply, so they can run out of ammo. You'd expect them to just pick up random rocks from the area, but no, 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 no. A catapult rock needs to be the perfect dimensions. And the perfect material as well. You can't just pick up any rocks. It doesn't work that way. Make sure they go in wide formation. I think they can already just whittle down on them. It's not ideal. It's not the best way to spend that ammo, but... Come on! It is something. Alright. Send in the other unit. I uh, kind of just want an army full of these guys. Just full of Arden Hardim. They could kill pretty much anything. They're just that good, both in melee and in range. They're going to turn around and fire at us? No? No? Wow, you guys are really slow. Okay, finally sending in his archers. We still have the height advantage. Crossbows are more dangerous. The archers don't really damage us that hard, unless they get a couple volleys off. Crossbows can do a lot of damage with one volley. No, but they're actually going to fire, and our unit's already out of range, I think. Yeah, they dry fired. So we moved at just the right time. Uh, I could move my inf or my my main line, like the here. Mm, don't think that's an improvement. Let's move them here. Let's move them forward and just kind of hope that we can. Oh, what the fuck, catapult! Okay then, are you drunk? I think you're drunk. Okay, they're fighting on that unit, which is problematic. They're gonna get a volley off. Okay. Whoa, hello there. Nice range. <laughs> nice accuracy, bro. Okay, you almost ate my words there. Good thing I didn't. Okay, he does not have his archers in a good position. Capitalize on that, keep running. I'm not gonna do any Contabrian circles. Alright. He can't hit that. If he hits my Avad and Harim, I will give him mad props. Right, you know what? If I don't give him a charge, they're going to keep doing annoying. If we give him one charge, that's going to drastically turn everything around. Even if we lose a couple of Arden Hardim, it's worth it. He's not getting his troops in in time. Catapult is now KIA. We pull back. They're going to do some friendly fire as well, especially with javelins, which they do have. You guys are going to pull back all the way. And the other Hardim will provide a distraction. Of course it is. That catapult's pretty much gone now. Saddle up horse archers without saddles. Alright, that catapult's down to 20 lads. I'm not sure what they're going to try to do. You know what? I'm actually too scared of this damn catapult. It's not going to do that much damage, to be honest. It's just this hill is so... Yeah, I should be... Yeah, I would be better off just walking around, I think. But knowing them, they'll pull off some aggressive maneuvering. Is that the captain? That is the captain. Let's take him down, boys. There he is. He's already wounded. Give him a charge. Guy's done for. Keep fighting at the same time. Look, his warg's already limping a little bit. Sad warg noises. Yes, kill the captain. We'll give the other army something to think about. Okay. The fuck did you just fire at? 
I think it just killed your own units. I think it was trying to kill my Naharim. I'm surprised his uh, general survived that. Let's pull back, keep fighting. He has now been triggered enough to go aggro. That catapult's still an active shooter, though. That's nah, okay. Alright, lads, uh, you're not in position yet. Oh my lord, you are far from in position. Get in position! <laughs> we have angered the enemy sufficiently. This battle's taking longer than it should be taking, I will admit that. Uh, what the fuck, man? Whenever I use catapults, they're not nearly that accurate. Unless, of course, in a siege battle, but on the field? No way, Jose. Damn it. That I was feeding that catapult for so damn long, and then I actually just screwed it up myself and got casualties because of it. Alright, take down the captain. I want to make this quick and clean. Just because this army is strong doesn't mean we need to be callous whispers about it, you know? That was the most lackluster charge I've ever seen. I've seen some half-assed charges. That was definitely one of them. Keep running, you fools! Ah, oh, come on. Just obey my orders for once. For once. The thing is, they also have an archer advantage. How is that captain still alive? Someone kill him. I'll give you a trophy. Yeah, they're getting charged now. Oh my lord. This battle should not be going as hard as it is. Not that it's going hard, but... Just a couple of specific specific units that are giving me some trouble that I don't appreciate. Like my Nahar, I'm going to absolutely destroy that. Plus they really shouldn't have if they had just killed that captain. And then my other Nahar unit just can't charge for the life of it. Alright, just pull back. Oh, that captain should be dead, but for some reason he's not dead. Where even is the fucker? I don't even see him. Yeah, I don't see him. It must be the last of his units. Oh, he pulled back. Where is he? Oh, oh god damn it. Whatever. Kill them all. Let Melkor sort them out. Get my Thorn Riders in there. This battle took much longer than it should have taken, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah well, that shouldn't be. I shouldn't be apologizing. Usually I do my battles quite quick and I'm, I'm usually not a very indecisive player unlike others. I do tend to have a pretty good rhythm with my series. In my opinion. Of course, your opinion might vary. I don't care. You think what you want. Alright. Rohan episode 1. Give that captain another charge, eh? Like the fifth assassination attempt. How many attempts does it take, anyway? Will we, though? That's good. Oh, sod off! How did you dodge my charge? My god, he is the toughest captain I've ever had the honor of killing. And with honor, I mean pain in my ass. Alright, get in position. He's fleeing? Please capture him. Thank you. Give him a volley! The fuck was that? Oh, is that cat- That catapult's active. <laughs> I didn't realize that catapult was active. That catapult should have been dead a long time ago. I can tell you that much. So much effort to try and take down that damn catapult and it still gets a volley off. Wow. So it was all for nothing? Absolutely. Right. These catapults are disabled now. Are those... Okay, they're routing. For a moment I thought they were actively chasing me. Alright, make sure we take down that big, big chunk of Uruk Reavers there. You guys get the hell out. Um, give them a charge and they will break. Goodbye. Losing way more troops than is necessary. This is the way. Alright, that Reaver unit is gone. Take him down, take him down, take him down. 
I hope my Nahadim heal because I kind of wasted them a little bit. Alright, sandwich them. Calf sandwich, just like the old days. You don't need to be Rohan to do calf sandwiches. Hey, an effective one at that. Breaking the enemy. Alright. Sandwich them. Get out of here. Alright. Another charge there. Should break them. Emphasis on should. Yes, it did. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. That's a beauty of a charge right there. Another route. Calf sandwich, boys. Who's still standing? Those guys, those guys, those guys. Okay. Get on it. You have a job to do. Don't be lazy now. Where's my cavalry now? Make sure you guys stop fighting. It is awfully risky. Alright, is that the last unit? Better be. Losing 11%. Ah, uh, we'll heal a chunk. We should still have more than enough. There we go. More than enough to push our advantage now, yes. Cleaning up those armies is quite, quite nice. Rush them. But yeah, like I said, we need to take settlements. That's the only way to beat Isengard, by taking settlements. We cannot just win by... Well, by regicide, that won't happen. It's a Teutonic faction. So unless we kill faction Ad and faction leader in the same battle won't be happening. Okay. 11%. Let's see. 8%. 145. I can live with that. But I'll need to replenish my Rohirrim, I think. Uh, let's see. Who healed the most? Please be Moriqua uh, and Naharim. Yes. They pretty much healed their entire units. Wonderful. 29. And the other Naharim? So they only lost 1. They lost 7 in total. Okay, I can live with that. Rohirrim, 832. It's not too bad. Oh, it's their inflicted. 613. They're not up for uh, replenishment just yet. No right, let us end it there. And let's execute another 6k worth of Urukai. <laughs> Get out of here! Don't like your kind, quite literally. Alright, so I can now use this army to push... I think Entweed would be our best bet. I'm still hoping that we can take Rockburg with this force. Although that poke might be a little bit silly. Uh, Tear Thunderwind? No, no, no. Ballista, you need to come along. You're literally the most important guy. I'll leave the Soul Swords in Tear Thunderwind. They'll have to defend it on that lonesome. Good luck with that. Um, because we are going to keep pushing. You will crush this army. And then push towards Entweed. Hopefully, the combination of this army along with this army, if they survive. Might prove to be difficult, uh, can take Rockburg. And at that point, we've pushed back Isengard already a fair bit across this river, which I had no idea what the name of it is. Uh, with regards to Mordor, well, we weren't able to take Thorband, which I kind of expected us to do, um, because everything's just taking longer than expected because of Isengard. We've mostly been fighting Isengard in this uh, episode, which is always fun, of course. I think I only pressed end turn once. Surprisingly, no attack by the Orcs of Gundabad. So we'll just kind of chill with the dwarves for now. Oh, why aren't you guys taking Dane's? I'll take Dane's halls for you then. I'll take it for you. It's 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 King Mazok over there. Why aren't you guys doing anything? It's like a fantastic opportunity right there. You guys are lazy. Austin Gale on the siege still. I'm on line. We have the reinforcements. They should all have yes, a Varden plate as well. So they are quite decked out. Uh, let's send those guys over as well to fight against Isengard. Um, let's send the calf towards Samalang for retraining. Yep, get more troops. Wonderful, Lord March. Yeah, trying to get culture up and running there. <laughs> it's taking forever. Okay, good. And hopefully Vrigavia can hold. If he can hold and we can push towards Rogberg, things are looking quite good. I'm not seeing that many extra forces at the moment. The road to Entweed seems clear. There's two doom stacks there, but besides that, okay, another stack there. 
But then it seems rather calm. It seems we've finally pushed through most of what Isengard can throw at us right now. So now they're probably super busy getting new armies on the go. Let's see, they're at war with Erebor. Oh, because they accepted the invasion. With us and with Lothlorien. They're not at war with Enedwyth, as far as they're still around. Nor Gondor, surprisingly. And with Gondor, I'd still like to get an alliance. But they just don't want it. Maybe I can trade Minas Morgul for that, as we said. Alright, well that's going to be it for today's episode, episode 22. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had fun. And with that said, I hope to catch you soon for episode number 23. Bye-bye, lads.